One computer scientist at MIT became so disillusioned that he decided to build a computer program that would parody these hopeless attempts. He was called Joseph Weizenbaum, and he built what he claimed was a computer psychotherapist. Just like a therapist, people could come and talk to the machine by typing in their problems. Weizenbaum called the program Eliza. He modeled it on a real psychotherapist called Carl Rogers, who was famous for simply repeating back to the patient what they had just said. That is what Eliza did. The patient sat in front of the screen and typed in what they were feeling. And the program repeated it back to them, often in the form of a question. Men are all alike. In what way? They're always bugging us about something or other. Can you think of a specific example? Well, my boyfriend made me come here. Your boyfriend made you come here? He says um, I'm depressed much of the time. I'm sorry to hear that you're depressed. It's true. I am unhappy. Do you think coming here will help you not to be unhappy? Well, I need some help. That much seems certain. One of the first people to use Eliza was Weizenbaum's secretary and her reaction was something that he had not predicted at all. Then I asked her to my office and sat her down at the keyboard and then she began to type and of course I looked over her shoulder to make sure that everything was operating properly. After two or three interchanges with, uh, with the machine, she turned to me and she said, would you mind leaving the room, please? And yet she knew, as Weizenbaum did, that Eliza didn't understand a single word that was being typed into it. You're like my father in some ways. You don't argue with me. Why do you think I don't argue with you? You're afraid of me. Does it please you to think I'm afraid of you? My father's afraid of everybody. My father's afraid of everybody. Weizenbaum was astonished. He discovered that everyone who tried Eliza became engrossed. They would sit for hours telling the machine about their inner feelings and incredibly intimate details of their lives. They also liked it because it was free of any kind of patronizing elitism. One person said, after all, the computer doesn't burn out, look down on you, or try to have sex with you. What Eliza showed was that in an age of individualism, what made people feel secure was having themselves reflected back to them, just like in a mirror.